we're given the function f of x equals x squared minus x, and we're asked to solve for f of x equals six, which means you want to find the x values or inputs that give a function value or output of positive six. So to solve for f of x equals six, we'll substitute the function rule on the left side of the equation, and because f of x equals x squared minus x, performing the substitution would give us the equation x squared minus x equals six. And notice how here we have a quadratic equation, so let's set it equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. So we'll subtract six on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have x squared minus x minus six equals six minus six is zero. Now we want to factor the left side. So if it does factor, we'll have two binomial factors. Or because the first term is x squared, that has factors of x and x, we'll have a factor of x here and here in the first positions of the two binomial factors. And then for the terms in the second positions, we want to find the factors of negative six that add to negative one, which would be negative three and positive two. So our two factors are x minus three and x plus two. And this product is equal to zero when x minus three equals zero or when x plus two equals zero. So solving for x, we have x equals positive three here by adding three to both sides. And here we have x equals negative two by subtracting two on both sides. So these are the two input values that will give us an output or function value of positive six. So let's say f of x equals six when x equals positive three or x equals negative two. This also tells us that f of three equals six and f of negative two also equals six. Before we go, let's verify this graphically. One way to verify this graphically would be to graph f of x equals x squared minus x, which would be this blue parabola, as well as the constant function f of x equals six, which is this red horizontal line. Notice how the two points of intersection are the points negative two comma six and three comma six. Where the point negative two comma six tells us that f of negative two equals six, and the point three comma six tells us f of three also equals six. So once again, the inputs or x values of negative two and positive three both give function values or outputs of positive six. I hope you found this helpful.